everybody, it's Joe from Papa Joe Bo's. Today we're going to talk about why Fantastic Beast 3 is probably going to fail pretty miserably at the box office. Right now this show, or part four of the show, hasn't even been greenlit. They're, they're going to see how well this is doing to actually see if they're going to greenlight uh, the fourth installment. They were supposed to have five. Uh, I don't think they'll get there with all the current controversies that this show has going on. Fantastic Beast 3 earns lowest international box office opening of the franchise. Fantastic Beast: The Secret of Dumbledore posts a $58 million international opening weekend. The Harry Potter spinoff franchise's lowest yet. Why is that? Controversy after controversy after controversy. Let's let's talk about the first one, and that would be Johnny Depp not being in the in Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp not being in the film. Um, that's huge. People love Johnny Depp, whether or not you agree with uh, anything that's happened with his current Amber Heard case, which I'm not really following. I'm uh, a whole lot. I watch a couple of YouTube videos on it. I don't really care um, because Johnny Je Depp was pretty drugged out. She's pretty drugged out. You get those two things together and they're going to fight. I feel bad for both of them, to be honest with you. A little more for Johnny Depp, if we're being honest, because Amber Heard's gone. Woo! Anyway, that's the first thing. You can't take a major player out like that. You can't do it. Um, people have tried to do it in a lot of films, and it usually fails. Like, could you imagine taking Luke Skywalker out and replacing him with some, I don't know, yokel? It, it would be horrible. Anyway, the second thing is J.K. Rowling. People don't like her because she believes that uh, someone with XY chromosomes is a man and someone with XX chromosomes is a woman, and she defended that position. And you can't really talk about this on YouTube in depth without being censored. So I'm just going to tell you, I, I agree with her and leave it at that. But there are people in that camp that aren't going to go watch this. And then you've got uh, uh, the fact that they're censoring in China. There's some homosexual lines in here, which I, um, they're putting in there to virtue signal. That's the only reason they're doing it. Look, there's a place for it in films if it flows naturally that I'm fine with. Um, but I'm positive they put it in here to virtue signal. It's a silly thing to do. And it, it hurts you from a, two different angles. One, you got, well, the, the China market, which isn't going to want to watch it if it's in there. So what does Warner Brothers do in support of the LGBT community? They take it out. Makes sense. And then at home, they're showing it to try to satisfy the LGBT community. Like, man, if you look to movies to satisfy your political agenda, you're looking at... Looking at the wrong places. It's a stupid thing to do. Um, or a silly thing to do, whatever. And then the last controversy is obviously Ezra Miller. He just got arrested, had a restraining order put against him. The people pulled it off, whatever. The guy is deeply damaged, deeply hurt. I hope he gets help. I really do. It's crazy seeing someone in the throes of uh, whatever he's going through. There's probably a lot of addiction in there. I hope he gets help because apparently... Rumors have it that he was passed around Hollywood. And if you know what that means, you know what it means. If you don't, maybe look it up. It's actually a sad story. I hope the kid gets help. But it's taking away all the attention from where it needs to be, which is actually on the movie. There's too many controversies for this film. They've done too many stupid things with it. They've contradicted themselves. They've been hypocritical. And they haven't paid attention to their audience. Uh, on a personal note, I saw the first one. I thought it was pretty good. I saw the second one. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't remember it. Uh, literally, I don't remember it. I couldn't tell you anything about it. I know. That's kind of weird. Getting a little old here. But I don't remember anything about it. It was that on, It was that <laughs> forgettable. Um, first one, I enjoyed a little bit. I thought Ezra Miller was good in it. I thought he did a good job. I thought the uh, chubby guy who plays kind of the Homer Simpson do-gooder was good. Uh, I didn't like the Homer Simpson part, but the do-gooder part, yeah, I like that. I like a hero story. They should have concentrated a lot more on him, um, seeing as how the story wasn't really written out at the time, and they could have really expounded upon it. Anyway, this movie's probably going to fail. It's going to fail because they've tried to virtue signal way too much. They have too many problems with woke characters, or excuse me, woke uh, actors uh, acting out. Just look at how this stuff's hurting you, Hollywood. It is backfiring in so many ways, and it makes me think they don't care about money. We can talk about that in a later video. Anyway, what do you think about all this? What do you think is ultimately bringing it down? I'm Joe from Papa Joe Bo's. Peace.